And it is a packed house. We get set for our first title bout of the night in the Bantamweight division. We take a look at the tail of the tape of this Bantamweight world title bout. Miguel Torres, 27 years of age, 5'9", 135. There you see that devastating reach of 76 inches. Yoshiro Maeda, 26 years of age, 5'7", 135 pounds as well, and a 68-inch reach. We'll see how it all plays out. We go inside the cage. Joe Martinez has our official introductions. Here and now, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Our co-main event of the evening. Five scheduled round for the WEC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a striker, standing five feet, seven inches tall. He weighed in officially 135 pounds. As a professional, he brings 23 victories, four defeats, and two bouts even, and fights out of Osaka City, Japan. Here is the challenger, Yoshiro Maeda. Next, his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He is a mixed martial artist, standing five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in officially 135 pounds. A veteran also inside the cage. He has 33 victories, just one defeat as a professional, and fights out of East Chicago, Indiana. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the reigning and defending WEC Bantamweight Champion of the World, Miguel Angel. in charge of the action, Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, it's for the championship. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna keep this fight clean. Touch gloves, let's make it official. No love lost from the weigh-in. It's carried over inside the cage, but can only mean one thing. We should expect big-time fireworks in this first round. Remember, this is a championship fight, so we are going five five-minute rounds. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Peter Mitsumira in the white trunks. Miguel Torres in the brown and white. That might have been one of the most vicious stare-downs I've oh, ever yeah. seen. They had me ready to go. Wow. <laughs> right off the bat, Torres gets taken to the ground. And he slipped on the kick more than get taken down. He, he saw the punch coming. That was intelligent. He decided to pull guard. Oh, nice knees. Big combination. Torres looking to end it quickly. Miguel's angry. He's already got a little bit of blood coming from his nose. Is it the Yoshiro Maeda is just unorthodox enough to throw Torres off his game? Yeah, see how he put his hands there? That's, you think just tag the guy when he puts both his yeah. hands out. But it's odd at first when it happens. You, you're not ready for it. It throws you off your rhythm. You've seen a guy with his hands up ready to fight. Both men capable of throwing vicious knees as you saw in that last exchange. Look at that. Maeda ducked right into it. You know, people, uh, that slap to the side of the face, I'm telling you, it's hitting the ears. It disrupts yeah, equilibrium. Not comfortable. No, it's actually very painful, aggravating. Got oh, an arm bar. He's got him in an arm bar. Has a shoulder lock, trapped the leg. He's going to sweep from this position and end up on top. Wow. Great job from Michelle yeah. Maeda to get out of that. He was in trouble there. Torres does not look as crisp as we saw him in Albuquerque. I think he's finding a little, little bit of emotion more than he's used to. He's kind of angry. He's, he's, he's being more vicious. So sometimes that pulls you out of your rhythm. You're not as loose and relaxed. He, he, but at the same time, I don't know. You really want to make <laughs> yeah, it. He's showing patience right now. We talked about that being one of his strengths. Maeda kind of 
shadow boxing, cat and mousing him right now. Torres, this is his first title defense as the Bantamweight champion of the WEC. Got that belt back in February as he submitted Chase Beebe for the title. Nice kicks. All shin. Axe kick from Yoshida Maeda. Nice knee. Roundhouse again. Maeda's starting to be on the wrong end of the stand-up exchange yep. here. And I don't think we've seen the full arsenal of Torres yet. Here again, anger more. Wow. Big knee from Maeda. Nice, he slipped the right hand, came back with a straight right hand. Both guys exchanging clinch knees. Hard kick, another straight knee. Pulled guard. Had the half butterfly guard there. You'll shoot me this. Looks like he's going to try to stand and pass. Look at, he continues to work in every position. Miguel Torres is so versatile. You see he's using his heel at that moment to yep. take advantage to bash in on his sciatic nerve in the side of the leg. Here he's going to pass. Swept over the top. Knee bar tip. And Maeda goes on the offensive. Swinging big. One minute left here in round number one. This one's scheduled for five. Are you surprised what you've seen so far, Frank? I expected it to be awkward from Yoshiro Maeda's input. I think he's doing a lot better in the jiu -jitsu than I expected when he hit the ground. Oh, nice knee to the liver. Wow. Torres just missing. A little uglier of a fight than I expected on his feet so far. But I think, again, it's coming that Miguel Torres is just really just... I think when he needs to calm down a little bit, he's fighting with a lot of emotion. He's almost kind of like these two are in a street fight right now. This isn't a prize fight. So round number one goes into the books, and the stare continues from Miguel Torres. Welcome back to Sacramento, California. This is round number two of a championship bout between Yoshiro Maeda in the white trunks and Miguel Angel Torres, the defending champion in the Bantamweight division, in the brown trunks. Both men sustaining minor cuts there in round number one, Frank. Your thoughts, and if you had to give it to one of the other fighters, who would you give it to? I might slim more towards Miguel just because he looks like he's trying to finish the fight more. He's not playing the tricky game. But then again, too, we've seen the blood coming down Miguel towards his face, so it looked like maybe you're sure Maeda did more damage. Torres coming in much more cautiously now, keeping an eye on Maeda and the kicks and that left. And again, Torres goes to the ground, but does not seem phased at all. And Torres just saying, bring it in, and he might have stepped right into a big up kick to the chops. Both men respected each other, but both men want to knock the other out. <laughs> the game's been this is the best fight I think I've ever yeah, seen. This is unbelievable. This is awesome. I am so happy. I'm sitting here watching this right now. A few moments in, in, in fighting, you get to watch two guys who are unbelievably good clash like this. And just both are ready, both are conditioned, both are just on their game. Looks like they got the blood control pretty well from the cut on Miguel Torres' head. It really looked like, though, it was from earlier in the round. I keep thinking that it came from the headbutt when he was getting taken down. I, don't, I never saw a definitive shot really land on the top of the head there. 
Torres comes in with a nice combination, then comes in with a knee, then stomps the foot. He's showing everything right now. And Maeda oh, taking yeah. a big shot to the chin. Those knees are raining in good. Did he hurt Maeda a little? Oh, Maeda comes up with a great, great recovery. Turn it around. This Look at this. This is unbelievable. It is an all-out throwdown inside the cage here in Sacramento. Hill hook attempt. Maeda's going for the heel hook. Ma so far, that's he's getting out. Now he's got a straight leg lock. Torres content to just unload some punches to the rib cage of Yoshiro he's Maeda. Going for the toe hold. Breaks the ankle. By straightening the leg, though, it really takes a lot of the pressure off. When your knee's bent, it's easier to rip it. Now you got the straight toe hold on Miguel. Got to toe hold again. They got both got toe holds on each other. This is like symbolic of this fight. Both these guys are not going to tap. They don't care. They're going to give up both their own feet. And there's still over a minute 30 to go in this round two. We're scheduled for five. Look at. Look at Miguel coming down with the heel. <laughs> I cannot believe this. This could not describe this fight any better. Miguel's an opportunity to take the back here. If he could come up on top. Oh, Look big at that elbow. Reverse elbow from Yoshida Maeda. Torres did not see that coming. No, that was real slick. That was a nice move. Miguel's getting back to full guard, going for triangle. He has no arm, though. He missed the arm. Oh, what an exchange. What a fight. This is high quality mixed martial arts from Arco Arena in Sacramento, California. Coming up on 40 seconds remaining in this round number two. He's working the guillotine. Trying to get the hand inside right there. You're sure me he's pushing in. He's in the guillotine now. He got him. Wow, he goes up for the mount. I, does he have the choke? We can't see from here. He got his arms out. Got it out. Obviously, the choke was in deep, though, for my head to be able to give up the mount like that. He was in trouble. Oh, raining down elbows. Gonna give up the rear naked choke now, though. He has a figure four body lock. 12 seconds. Nice elbows coming from the side. Maeda's in trouble right now, and Torres knows it. Does he have enough time here in round no, number two? No, but he stole the round. He got the round. Round number three is coming up. Stay with us here in Sacramento. Back inside Arco Arena at the start of round number three. This one's scheduled for five. What an unbelievable round we just witnessed in round number two. Miguel Torres and Yoshiro Maeda going toe-to-toe, heel-to-heel, literally, Frank. But I think you're right. I think Miguel Torres might have stolen that round at the end. Nice exchange. Miguel Torres, you're a defending champion, reigning champion in the Bantamweight division of the WEC in the brown trunks. In the white trunks, Yoshiro Maeda from Japan. Miguel seems to be finding a pretty good home for that right knee. It's not catching full blunt, but it's definitely getting there. He's doing jab, cross, hook, and then clinching and firing that right knee right up the middle because the one thing I've seen so far that Maeda's not doing correctly is on the exchange, he's ducking down. Miguel Torres must also be picking that up. That's why he's throwing that combo so much. Oh, big nice left right from Maeda. Left hand, yes. Good kick. He timed the kick just right. Fired it while Miguel Torres was just throwing on one foot. Continues to sharpshoot on Maeda. Definitely has that jab down right now. One thing I noticed from here right now, looks like Maeda's right eye is starting to close. If he could keep working on that jab, he could really disrupt his vision. Fire to get another hard jab. Left, the right side of Maeda's face is really swollen right now. 
filling up with blood. He needs to keep marking that down with his left hand. There he goes. Yeah. Keep pumping it, pumping it. He needs to then fake a few lead hooks off of that. Here go. Nice uppercut. Powerful jab again. A nice snapping hard shot and getting out of there. Maida needs to do something to come up with a resolution against this or some kind of counter because that eye is going to be a deficit. This is a five-round fight. And we are coming up on exactly the halfway point now of the fight if it goes five. And it looks like conditioning is starting to favor Miguel Torres. Miguel Torres is extraordinarily conditioned. Some of the stories I hear from his gym are are mounted on the side of mythology. Nice roundhouse to the body. Yeah, the snap of the punches that Maeda had in the first two rounds, Frank, seems to be gone right now. No, he's definitely not doing as well on his feet as he was in the first round. I think that unorthodox style will work at the beginning of a fight because it throws your guy off. But now Torres is such a well-schooled striker that he's figured it out and he has a solution for it. Wow. Maeda getting all kinds of shots in there, and Herb Dean, our official, jumps in there quickly. Look at Torres continually working. Nice reach around. Toss. He's going for the shoulder lock again. Triangle attempt. He has a far side shoulder. Might as do an excellent job of fending off the guard of Miguel Torres. Look at that. Elbows, punches, heel but kicks. Here's the problem, though. He's on top, but he's not, at, from this moment on in the fight, he's not doing more than what Miguel Torres is doing. Miguel Torres is throwing all kinds of strikes, all kinds of submission attempts. That left yeah. eye, that right, that right eye, eye is keep closing it. Closed. He's going to continue to work that left jab because I don't even know if my Eddie can see it coming. I don't think he can either. Be interesting to see if he starts throwing left kicks to the head from there. Dean really watching the eye closely. Coming down to the final 15 seconds here in round number three, but this one is scheduled for five, believe it or not. Please don't stop the fight. So we're going to a fourth round in this Bantamweight title fight here in Sacramento. Ladies and gentlemen, during the rest period prior to the beginning of round number four, physician at ringside advises referee Herb Dean to stop the bout due to injury to Maeda. Therefore, your victory and your winner goes to the defending WEC Bantamweight champion of the world and still the champion, Miguel Angel.